and today we're gonna be doing some cheap hack. But I think first and foremost, we need to define what cheap means in Bloxburg because I feel like some of them are really expensive and then some of them are like really, really cheap, but you know, Bloxburg's expensive. So some of these hacks might be a little too expensive for you or some of them might be cheap, you know, but you know, to whoever whom some of them are cheap, some of them are a little bit more expensive, but they're all pretty cheaper on the cheaper side, okay? But I asked my Discord server for some cheap uh, hacks here and you guys delivered. And someone said resize treeses. Treeses? Did I say treeses? Trees, I can't talk. Flower over here suggested to resize trees, which isn't really a hack hack, but I feel like some people just forget to do this and it brings a lot into a build. So I really wanna see how expensive this is because already trees are pretty expensive. So let's get to the garden section if I can find it. And let's get me some trees. So the cheapest tree over here is the dead tree, but we're not getting that. We're gonna get the rough tree, which is $150. And like, it's cool and all, but you can resize the tree if you guys forgot and uh, yeah it's okay ooh ooh that's expensive 352 dollars to make it really small okay. but this is the normal size and for like one two okay it's 79 bucks not too bad not too bad and then you can have like different sizes and it just looks a lot better so this is a this is kind of a cheaper hack, you know? You know, it's only $79 to resize the tree. I mean, it could be $300, but you know, we, don't, we don't want the smallest tree. So this isn't really a hack hack, but you know, people probably forgot this. So just a reminder, you can resize trees and it will make your landscaping look a lot better. So let's see what we else what else we have. Um, I spread my goodies in the street for spare change. Why did I read that? That was, why did I read that? That, um... Uh, moving on overlapping fences, but overlapping fences isn't too expensive I mean it is more expensive than just having one fence But it's better than custom fences So I mean if we can get a metal fence over here And then we just add like a log fence to it not the not the prettiest matchup But hey, there it's something or maybe like a hedge I really like this combo I like hedges with the the metal fences and boom So like it's more expensive than just one fence, but it is cheaper than making your own custom fence So just overlap some fences and boom you got some cute little fences the clone color thing this is a cheap hack um i basically put this in like every single video because i stand by this okay if you guys want to color something color it first and then duplicate it because then you don't have to pay the five extra dollars to color it so you're you're saving money okay and it's a cheap hack it's a it's a saving hack Let's see what else we have over here. Um, let's see, let's see. The tablet and the Polaroid wall one. I don't really know what that one is. I need pictures, guys. I need pictures. Okay. <clears throat> oh, my throat. Oh, a garage entrance. You basically lay the floor down and make a floor plan fence and color it green like a grass. Alternating. Oh, like this. Ooh, okay. I mean, I don't know if that's cheap, but it looks good. The trash! This is also a good, um, just a, to remember, press undo instead of deleting things because you'll get the full amount back. So just a reminder on that. Three easy build acts even Ashley can do, I hope. You know what? We'll see if I can. Um, but this is, uh, I don't even, okay. These are like windows. Oh, they're like fake windows. I think I can make myself some fake windows. Let's go ahead and get a wall over here. Here and try to make ourselves a fake window. I think he should use the mirror. So let's get a mirror going on. Let's get this mirror. Oh, I don't want that. It has light. Okay, let's get a borderless mirror. I think I can resize it. <gasps> I can. Okay, and then we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Like a window size. And then we're gonna get structural items. I think that's what she used. So let's get a small square beam. And then we just take it for okay. That's that's too small. We might need the standard one. There we go. And then just a reminder, color it first. So I'm gonna color it white first, and then we're we're gonna keep continuing the border. The thing is, I'm really bad at structural items just because I'm terrible at lining them up. Oh, that was so bad. Okay, I think I need to get it from the corner. Yeah, like that. Okay, okay, I'm learning. I'm learning, guys. Get it from the corner, drag it down. Now, this is actually pretty expensive, I will say, these beams. The structural items are not cheap, so this would not classify into the cheap section um, because I think a normal window is a lot cheaper and you can actually see out of them. So I don't really know why I would need a fake window, but hey, you can make a fake window if you want. There you go, you have, okay, it's kind of lopsided, but this is very expensive. I do not recommend doing this. <laughs> like if I delete this, yeah, I get like $900 back, which is insane <laughs> and windows are typically not that expensive like you can get a cheap window like these are not 190 dollars you know and it looks a lot better so i wouldn't really recommend this for the cheap hack also this there's like details you can add with structural items but again i don't 
classify structural items into cheap because they are expensive. This is actually a really cool one. This is a simplicity storage stand and you just got some uh, these end tables, put them together and boom, you have a little cute little side table. Not really a side table, but a little bookcase or whatnot, which might be cheaper than, yeah, this might be cheaper than an actual bookcase or whatnot because these are only $30. So that would be only 60. If you want another one, that would be $90 and that would be cheaper than a bookcase. So let's see how much a bookcase is. A bookcase is like 145. The cheapest one is like, $80. Okay, so this one is actually cheaper, but hey, which one looks better? Comment down below which one looks better because I like this one a lot better because like, oh my god, what is that? You know, it's slimmer. You can fit it in more places. Um, it is $10 more, but it looks unique. Let's see what else we have over here. We offer this buffet thing. I don't know if this is cheaper or anything, but it looks cool. Um, a lift for the gym. Again, structural item. Guys, structural items is not cheap. I wouldn't classify structural item the cheap category. There's also this one. This is like LEDs with some pictures. I don't know if this would be cheap, but let's see if it is cheap. I think I'm gonna compare this to like a painting because a painting could give you that as well. So let's put some walls down and see how much a painting is because a painting would give us the same outcome from it. So we're gonna add this. This is $150, okay. And uh, let's see how much this is gonna be i forgot what those things were are those pictures i don't even know polaroids are they polaroids what are they called okay they actually gotta decorate and then decorations and they should pop up right decorations they're already oh there they are they're 60 dollars. okay this is very expensive already like this is super expensive already like 60 bucks for each one of those this thing is 150 dollars, and i think i can just go get a polaroid wall right like type in polaroid how do i spell polaroid i think i spelled it right but there you go you know like you can just have that i mean this one is more realistic and you can have LED lights in it, but this is the cheaper option. So this is kind of expensive, but uh, you know what? Whoever thinks whichever one's cheaper, there you go. Probably this. Yes, a one by one is probably the cheapest house you can have. Um, so yeah, if you guys are tight on the budget, make a one by one house. Apples in a bucket hat. I think I've done this before, but yeah, you get the snowball thing and you just put some, you make them red and boom, you have apples in a bucket, which is so cool. And you can throw your apples at people, which is basically snowballs. You can use the old watering can vase to make a watering can for decor and you can actually pick it up. So there you go. That's pretty cool. And to close it off, I think, a great one we made a, like a tablet in the previous uh, uh cheap hacks but there's also another way to make like a cheap one so you go ahead and get this 180 dollars puzzle and you just want to go ahead and uh change it to like an ipad screen so let's go get an ipad screen real quick you can go to these cute ones or like one of the old ones whatever you like i think i'm gonna go with uh, uh this one and then you have to actually make the puzzle so we're gonna use the puzzle oh my gosh my toes are in the puzzle ew get my stinky toes off my ipad my my literal foot <laughs> is on it but there you go you have a nice little tablet for 180 dollars what did we do in the last one hold on i need to go back to the other video because i don't remember what we did for the other one also if you want to watch that video you can just go ahead and go here and search on my page and type in cheap and it should pop up yeah so right here it pops up and I don't know what I used. Oh, we used the picture frame. Okay, so we used the picture frame for this one, which is how much? How much is that picture frame? That picture frame is $125, but you also need a cutting board as well. So um, let's see how much a cutting board is. I wanna see which one is the cheaper tablet that you can make. I mean, the cutting board one is a lot prettier, I think, um, but it's $95. Okay, so this one is a lot more expensive, but it does look a little bit better. Because if you got a picture frame right over here, 100, and, there we go. So that, and you change the picture and it becomes an iPad. This one is a puzzle. So like you can, you can see the puzzle pieces, which is kind of lame, but hey, this one, this one is cheap by a couple of dollars. But those are all of the cheap hacks. You know, we compared some of them. So if you want to go for the cheaper option, you can. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn that notification bell so you guys never miss a video. And let me know down in the comments below if you guys used any of these hacks. You can, you know, tweet me pictures or send them on my Discord server. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys later. Bye!